Well, hi, everybody. This is Lee Marshall, and you're listening to WGS Radio. It's great. WGS Radio. The best running wrestling and gaming radio show ever. Are you ready to get your game up? Because it's now time for Game Up on WGS Radio. Let's go ahead and I want to start off with the demo I've done this week. And I know I'm supposed to do more than one, but with uh, with the time allotted, I did get one done, though, and I will be putting up the gameplay footage from it probably even later tonight, maybe after the show is over, if I can get to it. It is Blood Rain Betrayal. Now, I've played the first two Blood Rain games. Now, albeit the movies, eh, they're not as good as the games, in my opinion. Because, you know, the games were, you know, unique. You know, one, you're playing a vampire, or what they call a dampier, you know, half human, half vampire. And you could go around with your enemies, and instead of, you know, hacking their brains out, you can actually suck their blood and kill them. Anyway, um, the storylines on the video games, especially on the first two, I found to be a lot more interesting than the actual movies of Blood Rain. Now, albeit the Blood Rain movies were okay in their own right, but they just didn't really keep up to the genre that the video game, the video game aspect of it set. Now, with that being said, you know, blood, the Blood Rain games have always been traditionally three, a 3D type of game. Now, when I first saw clips of Blood Ring Betrayal, and I saw it as a 2D side-scroller, you heard me right, 2D side-scroller. One, I was disappointed. Because sometimes, generally, when you take a 3D game like Blood Rain, and you transfer it to a 2D-style atmosphere... It never really works out. You know, Blood Ring, in my opinion, has always been better as a 3D type of game. Now, so when I decided to do the demo of Blood Ring Betrayal, I wasn't really expecting anything much out of this demo. Um, in the demo, you play the first two chapters, you know, first two levels, and I must say... For a 2D side-scroller, this was very well done. I mean, the animation was wonderful. And you don't hear me say that, that, say that, that very often about a, a side-scroller, a 2D side-scroller. You know, because when, when generally you think of famous uh, 2D side-scrolling games, you know, they got you know Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario Brothers, um, Mega Man, those, those type of genres. But, and but those type of genres, side scrollers, have always been associated with gaming in the 80s and the early 90s. You don't t- typically see a good 2D side scroller today in today's uh, video game market. However, Blood Ring Betrayal, in my opinion, just from the demo I played, guys, I believe it kind of beats that 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 uh, that market. That's how good it was. I mean, the, the gameplay was very fluid. Um, there were, like I said, the, the animation, the graphics were, for a side scroller were, were really, really well done. And to be honest with you, I'm really intrigued on what kind of story they're going to be telling in this edition of Blood Rain, Blood Rain Betrayal. Because you know, in the first one, she's working for, God, what's the name of the, the Brimstone Society. The Brimstone Society, and they're going after, um, it was a, uh, oh my god, I'm trying to remember what his name was, but he was like a, a German, uh, this was like during World War II with Hitler and stuff like that, and there was a guy who was also a warlord in Hitler's army, and he was collecting like these supernatural artifacts that were going to make him like invincible and conquer the world, and Blood Rain had to stop him. In the second version of the game, by the way, before I get it, go any further, uh, big ups to James. James, how you doing? Uh, no, that's not James. Chase Matthews. That's you, right? You got it right. How you doing tonight, Chase? Uh, doing fine. Trying to make some money. I decided to give you all a call real quick. 
Oh, cool. Well, uh, we're in the midst of discussing the the latest installment of the Blood Rain video game series. Are you familiar with that? Uh, I've heard about it. I, I don't, I'm not really, you know, into it as y'all, but I've heard about it. All right. Now, guys, in the second installment of Blood Rain, she's going after her father, the, you know, the head vampire. So with this third installment, I'm kind of, Rick, I'm kind of intrigued as to where they're going to be taking this story, where they're going to be taking Rain in this in this game. Um, yeah, it's, I'll be honest with you, I've, I've played very little of the Blood Rain. Now, you talked about how they went from uh, 3D to side-scrolling, and I think uh, the problem was is that the game wasn't really a high-selling game. Um if you really look at even from the beginning, some people who followed it were big fans and there were others who just didn't. And I think they did the side scrolling because they kind of wanted to fall back and they tried something different. And it's not unheard of. They did this with Castlevania, uh, which was, a, you know, they did the 3D for a while. Well, it was originally a side scroller. Then they tried the 3D era came out and they tried to do 3D and it didn't work. And then they tried to go back to side scrolling. Um, and I think that's what they're trying. I think they're trying to, you know, say, okay, fine. You know, the whole retro thing might be a cool aspect to look at it. We're, we're talking about retro gaming tonight, but I think that's what they're trying. They're trying a retro thing to see what's going on, you know, to try to grab more grab, grab more buyers. As far as the storyline goes, I, I, I don't know where they're going with, to be honest with you. Sonic Fanatic on the line now. Sonic, um, what, what's your take on, you know, not just the Blood Rain Betrayal uh, installment, but... Um, do you have any thoughts, thoughts about the Blood Rain series in general? Oh, I, to be honest, on the series in general, I haven't paid too much attention on, to it. But um, as far as Blood Rain Betrayal is concerned, I've seen a review online from my uh, one of my favorite uh, YouTube uh, channels. And the reviewer said he, he really liked the game. They were just... There was one problem he saw with the game, which wasn't really that big of a deal, and that was the repetition of only one kind of enemy. And, you know, I, I, I kind of agree with him that that's not, like, a, a truly a big deal. And then there was the deal with Game Informer, I believe, that said uh, they give it a lower score than it deserved because of its difficulty. And and that's not fair at all. You you can't judge a score based on its difficulty, because you know if a game's difficult, that means it's challenging you, and you know you can't base a rating depending on its difficulty. I mean, if it's you know like BS hard and you know it's impossible, then I can understand it. But you know some games nowadays are you know the fun kind of hard, and so that, that's that's really what I see on it. Uh, can I uh, interject? Now, you said there's only one kind of opponent. There's one yeah. kind of enemy? Well, yeah, so far, yes. So far, it has, has been... Well, in in the first two chapters that I played, there was a a, a huge assortment of uh, vampire vampire enemies that come at you, and there's a, and, the, and one other kind of demon, especially in the first level. In the second level, they do try to mix it up a lot, but they basically keep it... As a uh, you know vam vampires now I, I would I would figure later on into the game they would start mixing it up. You know oh, okay. what I mean? Oh. Yeah, I mean if it's only just the first two levels, you can't base the game. Yeah, okay. Um, thank well, you. Well, let's go to Jordan now. Jordan's uh, live on the air. Jordan, would you play a game like this if given the opportunity? Absolutely. What would it? What would? What would be the thing that would intrigue you most? About the Blood Rain series, including Blood Rain Betrayal. I think probably just like their blood. <laughs> the blood. <laughs> All right, uh, Chase Matthews on the, on the air now. Chase, now you said earlier that you you're not very familiar with the Blood Rain series at all. But uh, if given the opportunity, would you try a game like this? Oh, absolutely! I give every game a try. Mm. And Especially if it has something to do where you can get your hands dirty. So yeah, if I had the opportunity, I'll definitely play it due to the fact you can get your hands dirty in it. So. All right. So guys, be sure you look later. Probably, I'm gonna say about 95% sure I'll have it up later tonight on the WGS YouTube channel. The a gameplay footage of Blood Rain Betrayal, and you can judge for yourselves just from what you see. 
Hey, hey, if you want to listen to more from the show, then click on the link in the description below. Yeah!